Thanks, Scotty. And yeah, we're just cruising along on our Friday morning here. And joining me in the studio is Jim Tillich, the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. Good morning, sir. How are you? Yes, good morning. Doing good. Always good to see you and talking about some of the art pieces that uh, you're, you're kind enough to bring in and share with us. I'm excited to talk about these. But first, let's talk about the gallery in its, itself. Where is it located? 421 South Main, mm -hmm. right on down Main Street in Breckenridge, and then at the corner of Park and Main. Right. Very easy to find. Yep. and uh, Easy to get into. Two entrances. Yeah, one on the river, one on Main Street. Yep. It makes it real easy to get in, exactly. Okay. It's a convenient and centrally located uh, a gallery in the town of Breckenridge. It's just a great spot of town. And it's worth just stopping in and seeing uh, the, the art that's in there because it's all museum quality and just some stunning stuff. And you're going to, I, I can't imagine anyone going in there and not being able to find a piece that just really you know, speaks to them that, say, that says, wow, like this is, this is really, truly something amazing. Yes, I try to have something for everybody, if you will, in mm -hmm. the Impressionistic vein. Right. Because the Impressionism kind of touched people's hearts. Because the Impressionist painters, they were painting their feelings, their impression of the yeah. day, the impression of what they saw. And oftentimes they used uh, somewhat brighter colors. And we like to brighten up our houses. You know, we want right. the outside brought inside with beauty and color. Right. And it has been very bright and colorful and the last couple of days here in town. It has. All this sunshine is marvelous. Mm, a lot of sunshine. Yeah, I so let's talk it. about this first piece that you brought in. This is a Russian piece. Yes, uh, this, uh, let's see, we're talking, the bright one, yes. Yep. That is a Timkov. Now, Timkov is a well-collected artist. Mm -hmm. uh, he's one of the big names of the last, oh, 80 years, last 100 years of Russian art. Uh, he is one of the bigger names because what he did he had his own style of Impressionism. He felt the need for color in the lives of the people of Russia and the Soviet world of that time. Yeah. The world over there is a little bit gray, not just because of the buildings are gray, but uh, they have fabulous architecture, and he did paint some of it. But what he wanted to do was, as you can see, bring life, the, the outdoors, right inside the house mm -hmm. so that even if it was a dull day outside you could still have beauty inside your home yeah you see that because it's not a very sunny day in this piece it's mostly cloudy actually it's it's a bit cloudy but yeah. it's bright and happy you see the lower right hand corner you see the people walking down that road mm. little bitty people yeah um the russia is 11 time zones long oh it's, yeah, it's very almost big half place. of the earth yeah and just to make it simpler, they took away one time zone, I believe. <laughs> so now it's supposed to be 10 time zones long. Okay. But uh, either way, <laughs> it's not going to make it's it any it's shorter. Big. It's a it's big place. Big. So what you see in his mm -hmm. art is uh, the people are always small, the trees are always big, the land is broad. Interesting. And this is something that uh, to mm -hmm. them, it, it gave them a lot of comfort to know that the ground, the dirt, you know, the earth yeah. we walk on is real, and it's a part of their culture. And here you see, you see the green of the grass, you see the trees, which are made to put in great contrast. Mm -hmm. And of course, anytime you've got the oranges and the greens together, you get even a more of a jewel-like effect. Right. And this is something that Van Gogh was very good at. Mm -hmm. He put those colors together, and people respond immediately yeah. to his work. Well, this is a beautiful piece, and again, a Russian painter by the name of Timkov. Yes, and Timkov. you can see several different pieces of him in the gallery. Exactly. Yeah. I have uh, quite a few pieces by him. I get them directly from his son. Oh, wow. And his son is, is quite an interesting man. Every once in a while, he'll say, I want to do something for the human race. I want to do something for my country. So he gets involved in, in some kind of public works, mm -hmm. some, something really good. And he says, now sell that piece, and when you sell that one, I'm going to do something for somebody, for the church or somehow. Great. Very interesting yeah, man. It's very interesting and very good. Uh, let's move on to the second piece that you brought in here. This is a completely contrasted type of piece here. Yes. By size and color. It's almost a miniature. Mm -hmm. um, his name is Krantz. Okay. A German name, of course, but the reason I brought this one is Mr. Krantz, aside from painting miniatures sometimes, mm -hmm. He could paint a little miniature just two inches by three inches, and you'd have a whole world going on in that I'd little bitty yeah. piece. But what he did, he's called a lyrical 
romantic impressionist. Okay. Musical, beautiful. Okay. So when you look at this one, what you're seeing is probably in the terms of someone else, a muddy stream. Mm -hmm. But he romanced it, like what the, the movie Romancing the Stones, been a lot of attention on it. Sure. He painted it so that it looks good and you want to be there. I don't, I don't know if you want to slosh through it or yet. Right. Or not. But, but, but it's beautiful. I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Like if you were taking, I mean, it, to me, it's like uh, early season here in, in uh, Summit County. If you're out on the trails after the first couple of snowfalls, that's what it looks like out there. Exactly. Like he would yeah. go out hiking, stop at a point where no mm -hmm. other artist would stop and paint it. Interesting. And this particular piece, my wife happened to say, oh, that's so beautiful. He took it and he gave it to her. Really? Because he saw that it touched her. Wow. And she said the same thing. W would anybody want that little pond in the mm -hmm. middle of nowhere? And he said, it has its own life. Yeah. I painted it. And, That's great. Uh, so this artist is still alive and painting today. He just passed away, oh, he unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, he did excellent work yeah. for many years. Some of the bigger pieces are quite well collected. Mm -hmm. He's in museums. Um, and with a name like Krantz, he's actually German. Okay. When a couple hundred years, uh, 150 years ago, one of the conflicts left him and his family or his grandparents in uh, Russian territories. So he became a Russian. So he is a baron, a, a German baron, who is a Russian citizen and a painter <laughs> and a very interesting man. Oh, what a life. Yeah. yeah. And again, this piece is just about five inches by five inches. It's very tiny. I mean, you're not kidding. There's an entire world there. So very neat stuff to see. And you can see pieces like this and a whole lot more at the Brecker Inch Fine Art Gallery. Again, located on Main Street and Park. And uh, just some amazing stuff and I'm sure there's a piece there that if these didn't they will inspire and will touch you as well just the way um, pieces that have touched me there as well from the artists yes. they're, they're very great so I like for them to be things. emotional mm -hmm. and emotions this is basically what causes people to do things yeah. I want that piece of art it touches me Absolutely. it'll brighten up my house it'll give me a feeling in my office that I really want yeah it, uh, it touches your heart, and I love art for that reason. You bet. Very good. And again, Breckridge Fine Art Gallery in Breckridge. Got to go check it out. Jim, thank you so much this morning, and uh, good to see you, and we'll see you again. Good. And we're going to take another break. Let's check, get, uh, catch up with Scotty Bondo here a little bit of the Nordic Center. We have an interview with them, and of course, our watch win still the giveaway. So that and more coming your way on this edition of Soda Sunrise. We'll be back after this.